welcome back to News Cover Tour. We are going back in time for the third stop on the Doc Holiday History in the Hall Road Show. This month's program is at the Red River Railroad Museum, and it will allow people to experience living history through stories of Denison's historic railroad origins. Kurt, thank you so much for being here with us again. My pleasure. Tell us about this next stop. Oh, I'm show. telling you, it's going to be fantastic. We've had two wonderful things here already in January and February. This one is going to be talking about the townspeople who actually lived here when we came out. It's going to talk about the people who actually developed and planned and built the railroad into the town. And then we're going to talk about the individuals and the personalities that actually made up the town itself. Absolutely. Why is the railroad so important to our history here? It is Katie's baby. It is the first city inside of Texas from coming from the north. And because of the way that the railroads were built back then, it needed a terminus. And sure, uh, Denison was determined to be that terminus. And let's talk about the individuals who were first in Denison. Please introduce us to your guest. Well, uh, uh, I am uh, Dr. Atchison, and uh, I have the distinct honor of presenting Mrs. Patrick Henry Tobin. Mrs. Tobin, such a pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, I understand yours is one of the first families in Denison. My, my uh, father was named John Cameron, and he came to Denison soon after it was settled opened the Cameron House, which was one of the early hotels in Denison. Oh my goodness, and I understand that you met the love of your life as well. Tell us a little bit about yes. that. Yes, uh, I call Pat impetuous Pat. We had known each other for about six years, but one night we went to the fair at the Catholic Church. And let me just put it this way. Pat went to the fair as a bachelor, and he came home a married man. Oh, my. He was quite smitten by you. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it must have been a full moon that night. Who knows? It must have been a full moon. And if you would, doctor, tell us a little bit more about how you came to Denison, because you were the first doctor in the area. I, I was, and uh, uh, we came from uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and were chartered to become the very first Katy Railroad doctor, and I became the first city physician as well. And we made sure that we had the first telephone from my office to my house to make sure that we could go whenever was needed out to the railroad sites. Now you were not just a doctor, you became much more. That is correct. I was a mayor four times. I was a black and tan Republican candidate for the Senate, the governor, and the U.S. representative. But you never quite made it to the Capitol. That is correct, but we always had a tremendous time here in Denison. And speaking of tremendous times in Denison, you also were the inspector of some very peculiar businesses in Denison, <laughs> which is also near where you live. Yes, the hotel was south of Skitty Street, and we all know the, uh, the, the uh, history of Skitty Street. It, it was a rough and tumble place. And you were the inspector, you were charged with... In it's also important to be <laughs> sure you have a clean and safe <laughs> establishment. <laughs> Okay, bringing you back out of character now. This is a lot of what you will see when you take a step back in time, but tell us where to be and a little bit more about the road show. Red River uh, Railroad Museum, 124 on Main Street in Denison, six o'clock Thursday night. And then next month, it's the ghost. It's the ghost tour the at the Katy Depot. Tour. I'm shaking already. You both are wonderful. Mrs. Tobin, I do thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank my you. Lady. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> and Dr. Kirk as well. So that's what you're in store for, and that is why it's the talk of the town. 